Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this Adobe logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So the top one is an image, the bottom one is the logo created inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's get started. I will start with a blank presentation. I already have this logo pasted in. I will select Format, Colors and I will select this grey preset which will fade out the logo a little bit so we will clearly see what we are drawing. I will zoom in as much as I can and focus on this left logo and I will start by tracing this outer rectangle. So I will select insert shapes rectangle and I will draw it in the same size as the logo itself. So like this. Now when I draw it you can see I cannot see anything because the fill is fully opaque. So I will select shape fill, more fill colors and I will increase the transparency to maybe like I don't know 60% just so I can see what's below. Now what I can do is right click and select set as default shape, that's kind of a strange name for the function, but that will cause that all the newly drawn shapes will have this shape, uh, will have this fill and outline properties. Okay, so I will continue by tracing this uh, triangle, so insert shapes ISO class triangle, which is this one. And the only thing which I'm looking for is to make sure that the angle of this side is the same as in here. So I'll maybe make it a little bit shorter or taller, this seems about right. Then I will position it in the middle like this and I can still use my arrow keys on my keyboard to make sure that everything is properly aligned. I will duplicate this shape by moving it while holding the control and shift key on my keyboard and move it around here. Now before I move to the center piece I will select the rectangle and the triangle and select merge shapes subtract. So I will subtract the triangle from the rectangle which will give me the left and right shape and now I can focus on the middle shape. So I will zoom in even more. And I want to subtract this like a line from the bottom, so I will probably insert a new rectangle like this. And then I want this skewed line, so for this I will most likely use this shape which is called uh, trapezoid. And again, the only thing which I'm looking for is to make sure that the angle is the same, so just about this. Then I can just position it using my mouse, on my arrow keys, on my keyboard, everything is fine. I will select the triangle and the trapezoid, select the format merge shapes subtract. Then I will again select the triangle or the newly drawn shape and the rectangle and select merge shapes subtract. Now you can see there is a little bit of leftover down here. We can get rid of this piece just by you know drawing another big rectangle and selecting this piece, the rectangle and selecting of course subtract. And that's uh, you know that's all for this left uh, shape so I will move it down here this one up here, I will select format a reset picture which will reset the colors to the original version. I will select both shapes, I can group them together holding the Ctrl G on my keyboard. Then I will select format and for the fill I will use the eyedropper tool to sample this red color and the outline should be of course no outline. Now for the text itself I will insert a new text box where I will of course type in Adobe and I believe that the font used is a Myriad Pro Condensed that may not be available on all the machines. I believe that this one comes with Adobe Creative Suite. And it seems like they are using the bold version and the size could be just a little bit bigger, like 180 uh, points. Okay, so I will move it next to the logo. And that's it. That's how you create the Adobe logo in like three minutes or so. So again, it's, it's fairly easy. Now, if you want to write this uh, registered trademark symbol, you can of course insert a new symbol from insert, you know, somewhere in here there is a symbols. It's in here. You can insert a symbol and try to look for the right symbol. But I believe that uh, by default if you type in uh, the bracket R and the closing bracket it will automatically turn into the symbol. Uh, into the symbol. You can of course try to write other variation like the copyright symbol if you want to. Okay, and that's really it. That's how you create the Adobe logo in Microsoft PowerPoint. Thanks for watching.